and it is my great pleasure to welcome all of you to this discussion evening on women inspiring innovation, which essentially means that we will be celebrating the contribution that uh, women make in innovation, but uh, at the same time, it's uh, probably safe to say that uh, we would not do justice to reality and society if at the same time we didn't also ask the question, why aren't there more women involved in innovation? Shanis, I have had the honor of sharing many journeys of women who inspire around the world, but your story is truly humbling and awe-inspiring. You have blazed a trail, not just for yourself, but for your peers and for generations who come after you. So in their interest, the role model that you are, the dreamer that you are, I want you to share with them a call to action that will inspire them to do what you have done, to dream what you have dreamt, and to continue to inspire their peers and those who come after them. My new goal is to inform all young ladies in DC public schools and out of other country to be interested in science and get out of that little motive we have of doing fashion and hair. <laughs> <laughs> I want us to be interested in science and go out and explore. And all of a sudden I was facing this cascade of impressions and emotions when looking back at my um, professional trajectory because I realized that actually it hadn't been easy at all. If anything, it was really a struggle. And I also realized that I was kind of triple punished. First for being a woman, which per se I never considered being a problem. But being a woman doing sex research, um, that was quite a stigma. Yeah? In addition to education though, the other critical resource we need is mentorship. We especially need women mentors who can help stem the gap. And by women, I do not mean Latina women, Indian women. I do not mean Swiss women, American women. I mean all women. We have to stand up as role models. We as mentors can play a critical role in opening doors for young women, particularly women, to careers in STEM. We have the power to lead by influence, by our experiences, and through collaboration, we can bring people together to teach them and guide them. I think the goal is really to have a ladder for the women which is the same than for men and at the end of the PhD when women are facing a step which is very high, too high for them to be able to get to the top, we really need that we hope that this uh, program, Swiss federal program, will be able to reduce the uh, highness of the steps and make sure that the women may be able also to get to the top of the position. The advantage of the innovation theme is it says the innovation can grow out of the fundamental curiosity that people can have. It can grow out of the experiences of practical problems that can re be resolved. And so innovation becomes then the possible outcome of the pursuits that people might naturally be inclined to look at. How does it an established woman in STEM field, go about paying it forward. Reach out to the younger women. Tell them they are there, tell them they can make it, that it's possible you know, to be a mother of four children and still have a successful career. And help in the creation of networks so that younger women feel integrated into our community. Because it's not easy when you're one of very, very few. We need champions. We need to be the ones as leaders in STEM fields, whether you're male or female, who are gonna put yourselves on the line to help out somebody who's earlier on their, in their career. You're gonna be able to take the risks for them, stand up for them, vouch for them when maybe they're not the most experienced person who uh, has been on all the high profile teams, but you know that they can do it and you're willing to give them a chance. So what's exactly soft robots? I don't know if you get the reference of a Baba Papa world. This is a world where if you don't have something, you create that by your moving your body. So if you want a violin, you transform your body into violin, you interact with the world. And this is how our world works. 
for every living um, cell or um, living beings, they react to stimulus, they react to the environment, they react to the force that's, against, uh, that, that's applied to your body. And that's how you prove that you're alive. I want to dedicate this, uh, this event tonight um, uh, to all the courageous uh, women and all the courageous leaders who, have, um, who make it possible uh, for, for us to have a, a better integrated uh, society, I think, but also definitely in the, in the field of STEM.